Well, I suppose, uh, yeah, a lot of people know me as uh, being on four wheels, but I uh, actually started my life on two wheels uh, back uh, at the age of uh, uh, sort of eight and nine, where I uh, actually rode a, uh, an 80cc motorbike around uh, uh, Broad Meadows, which was, uh, yeah, quite a, uh, you know, a great challenge, something uh, that I was really uh, enjoying. I had an older brother who was into motorbikes as well, so it was something that uh, I grew up on a farm, uh, or five acres, uh, on a family sort of uh, area uh, out on the north side of uh, Melbourne which uh, really for me was a uh, great opportunity to have the paddock bombs, have the motorbikes, have everything else. And as I grew up, I had too many accidents on two wheels, so I uh, actually then moved to four wheels, and of course my career started from there in go-karts at the age of 10. So for me it was a, uh, a, 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 a obviously a, a great transition to go from two to four, but uh, it's always had a big passion about uh, two-wheel motorbikes, even from the early age, whether it's been dirt bikes, been road bikes, um, a mixture of both, and of course now lucky enough to... Uh, have the connection with Suzuki to be able to uh, to be able to use the uh, the RMZ for training, and as well as uh, the thousand to uh, have a bit of fun on. So, how long have you had a thousand for now? I've had a thousand for three years now, and it's uh, for me it's been a, a fantastic uh, relationship to be able to have uh, the passion that I have, but obviously association the same passion through Suzuki. Seeing the development and, and obviously the changes in the bikes over those three years has been uh, been tremendous actually. To uh, uh, I suppose it's a little bit like car markets that uh, you know you build a car and you think how are we going to improve and better that, but uh, they always do. Manufacturers always find a way to make the bike lighter, nicer, more power or more linear power. They always find a way of uh, progressing the bike to a different stage, and I think that uh, riders like that. That uh, as they ride bikes, they get immune to it, and of course they want something different from year to year. And uh, at the moment, uh, you know, the GSX R1000 is uh, is definitely uh, a mark above the rest. So for you, the, the motorbikes are a release? Is it just a getaway from everything else you do with your everyday life? Uh, well, yeah, the motorbikes are a, a bit of both. Um, so I use the RMZ for training. Uh, I've uh, uh, got tracks uh, on on, um, on the farm where uh, my neighbour races all the time and he keeps uh, keeps me fit and everything else, which is uh, it's a different... Uh, uh, when I talk to people, it's, it is different, obviously two wheels to four wheels, but you're still operating a brake, a throttle and a clutch. You're still thinking about lines. You're still thinking about where you need to position the bike. Uh, you know, we've got some uh, some good tabletop jumps. I got some jumps over barbed wire fences and a few things that uh, you know you don't want to make a mistake. And of course, uh, you know, with that, you need to be concentrating. Um, I suffer a lot of arm pump, which is uh, interesting when I don't ride. You know, I get back on the bike. You know, I get it within the first ten minutes, and trying to get all over the, the I suppose, the mindset of uh, all those uh, fatiguing areas, uh, as well as uh, trying to keep up with my neighbour is always a good thing. But then the road bike is definitely just a uh, you know one of those uh, unwind get out on the road you can't uh, afford to think about anything else but what you're doing what you're operating the roads the conditions oncoming traffic everything else so for me the the road bike is more a, uh, a, a I suppose a, a stress relief and uh, for me the, the dirt bike is a training um, and I've also been lucky enough to have a track bike where uh, you know we actually can go and hire some uh, race tracks Luckily enough, our uh, boss and owner, Roland Dane, is uh, very passionate about motorbikes, and uh, he allows us to, uh, to to use that. So, uh, you know, again through Suzuki, um, one of uh, got the K8, one of uh, Sean Giles' old training bikes. Uh, you know, we get out there and we have a bit of fun. Uh, last time we went up to Broadford, Josh came out and uh, you know he showed me some much better lines and uh, obviously being able to flow the bike a lot better. Uh, but again, the, the whole mindset of what, what we do on four wheels is very similar to the guys on the two wheels, but obviously uh, you know a little bit more risky because we don't have a cage around us, we don't have any uh, safety requirements of what we have in a race car. And I think that's the, the sense for me, the excitement and the challenge is to ride a bike on a track as fast as you can without injuring yourself. Okay, so one, one last one. It was a uh, tough start of the season with Eclipsal. So what can uh, your four-wheel fans look forward to the rest of the season? Well, yeah, it was a tough start of the season. It wasn't uh, you know, as good as what it could have been, but at the same time, it was much better than last year. So I'm very happy of where we've, we've, uh, we've uh, kicked off the... I suppose, uh, you know, where we well, kicked off the season in 2012. The car is uh, extremely quick. We've continued on the momentum of what we had at the end of uh, last year's season. Uh, so really, I'm looking forward to uh, you know uh, uh, round two and beyond. Uh, for me, it's uh, you know it was about uh, Eclipse was about a fuel economy race, which is in a sense a bit frustrating because you're racing a car at a fuel number, not at a road speed or a race lap time that you know the car is potential of uh, of doing. So it was a little bit frustrating, but at the same time we've got to make sure we finish every race. My goal is obviously this year is to try and win the championship. To do that, you need to be consistent. You need to have, obviously have. Uh, every race uh, in the top 10 at the starting 
uh, positions, which is something I, I didn't achieve last year. Uh, if I can finish in the top five to six of every race of this championship, I think that uh, you know, we're going to be in a good hunt. And of course, you want some race victories, which uh, will come in time. we just got to make sure that uh, I do the right thing for me in the sense of getting the car set up, qualify it right, and then get away to a good start.